Hey everyone, welcome. Uh, in this video, we're going to go ahead and configure our NetOps server to act as our NTP server for the topology. So all of our routers and our switch will peer with it in order to synchronize their time. Uh, we're going to use uh, MD5 authentication, of course, and uh, we'll step through the process of setting that up on our Linux CentOS 8 box. Uh, the CentOS 8 uh, uses Crony D as our service for N NTP, uh, and that's, uh, that's loaded on there by uh, default. Uh, so let's go ahead and head over to the uh, server. And the first thing we're going to do is elevate to sudo and type in our password, test123. Uh, we're at the root. <coughs> All right, so we're going to make sure that the CronyD service is started and it, it will start when a power failure or the uh, server is reloaded. Uh, we'll do that with the uh, system CTL. Uh, we're going to start uh, the CronyD service. There we go. <coughs> Uh, we're going to enable that service to start uh, every time the server reboots. So during the boot, boot process, it'll enable that uh, enable that service for us. Uh, we can check the status of the crony running. Uh, with the system CTL status. And you can see that it is active and running. Okay, so uh, to go through the configurations here on the system, we need to edit a couple of files. Uh, we're going to edit the Etsy uh, crony config. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit I for insert. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to use our local time source for setting the, the time. So we're going to comment out uh, this uh, time server. And then we are not going to peer with any outside sources. <coughs> and then on our allowed IP ranges, uh, we're going to open up uh, the entire 10 network. <coughs> Uh, to do that, we'll just allow uh, the 10.0.0.0 slash uh, 8. So that's saying any network within the 10 range is going to be allowed to come and get time from us. We're also going to uncomment the local stratum uh, 10 so that it'll set our stratum to 10, uh, even if we're not synchronized with an outside time source. So we'll escape there, colon WQ to write and quit. And then the next file we need to edit is the our keys file uh, for authentication. Again, I to insert. And I've got a couple examples in here. Uh, and for all, all these entries, uh, anytime you see the uh, hashtag in front of something, it's just uh, commenting that out it's not in use within the within the file uh, so we're going to set a new key of 15 we're going to use uh, md5 and the md5 key we're going to have is capital e or capital n net ops ntp so that is what we will use uh, when configuring our routers and switches to authenticate with this server. Uh, again, escape and then colon WQ to write and quit. And our two configuration files are uh, finished at this time. Uh, the other thing we want to make sure of is that we are uh, allowing uh, NTP in uh, from, those, uh, from those sources, uh, from the clients. Uh, so we're going to open up the firewall Uh, with the firewall command, uh, we're going to make a 
permanent entry. Oops, if I could spell today, permanent entry in the uh, policy. Um, we're going to add the NTP service. Okay, as you can see, I've already done this before, but it's just verifying that it's already enabled. Uh, NTP is there in the policy set and it successfully added that uh, to the policy. Uh, the other thing, as you're going through this and you want to make sure that the policy is implemented, so we're going to reload the server policy. And we got a success on there. Okay, so uh, again, the NTP service is up and running. Uh, we've got the configuration file set. Uh, we're going to allow anything from the 10 network into us. We're going to authenticate with the MD5 key, and we've got our firewall open to allow that traffic in. <coughs> so let's go over to switch one. Uh, again, switch one is uh, the one that's connected, we're connecting to uh, from the server. Uh, and go ahead and configure NTP on it. Uh, so let's make sure that NTP is not running already. Uh, show, um, show NTP status. Uh, we see NTP is not enabled. <coughs> so let's config T. Uh, we're going to set our NTP. We want authentication, so we're going to set authentication. Uh, authentication key, key 15. Uh, MD5, and that was NetOps NTP. Uh, we're going to set, we're going to use NTP is going to authenticate. Uh, we're going to do NTP, we're going to trust our key 15. Uh, our NTP, our NTP source is going to be VLAN 15 from our or from our uh, switch one here. That's our management VLAN. Uh, so we're sourcing from VLAN 15. <coughs> uh, and then NTP server finally uh, is 172.30.100.30. Uh, we're authenticating with a key, 15, and enter there. Uh, also, we want to set our uh, time zone. Uh, I'm on the East Coast here, so we're going to set our clock time zone to Eastern Daylight Time, and we are four hours, minus four hours from UTC. So everything is configured. Uh, if we show run pipe section NTP, we'll see our configuration. Okay, we've got our NTP authentication key 15 MD5 hashed. Uh, we've got we're authenticating our NTP. We're trusting key 15. We're sourcing from VLAN 15. We have our server set up to go to 172.30.100.30 using key 15. So let's show NTP uh, associations. Okay, so we've got an association. We can see that we have a peer uh, with the asterisk. Uh, the tilde tells us that it's configured. And let's do a show NTP status. And currently we're unsynchronized. Uh, so this could take uh, uh, up to you know five ten minutes for synchronization synchronization to occur. Uh, so while this uh, goes through and synchronizes, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so you can see uh, we've got finally got synchronization on switch one. Uh, it took nearly fifteen minutes to do so. Uh, so. Uh, just as a food for thought, if you're in a lab exam and they're asking you to configure NTP, you know, get all your configurations in there, double check and make sure that they're uh, good to go. Uh, move on to another task while that synchronization occurs. Just come back to it and double check uh, to make sure that it does synchronize. Uh, so we've got the synchronization. Uh, if we go ahead and show our clock uh, detail. 
uh, we can see that our time source is NTP. Uh, another setting or another uh, command I want to show you over on the server uh, is the uh, Karani C and clients. Uh, that'll give you the listing of the devices that are uh, pulling time from you. Uh, so it's good information to have. Always, uh, you know, have NTP configured within your networks uh, to make sure that all your devices are synced up and have the correct time. Uh, and that's how you configure it on CentOS 8. Uh, I hope this has been informative. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to be notified of new content.